New reporting on a shooting that killed a teenager in Fairfax County and tonight police are still searching for the person who pulled the trigger. It all happened this afternoon in Herndon, less than five miles from Dulles International Airport. Katie Lusso is there with some new details on what happened. It happened just beyond me in the parking lot of this extended stay hotel tonight. Loved ones I spoke with absolutely heartbroken over this senseless shooting that took the life of a teenage boy. Um, I know he was very athletic. He was a basketball player. My son played basketball with him. That's how they kind of reconnected. Nicole West says the victim is her son's cousin. I mean, my son is destroyed right now. All of his friends are destroyed and I'm scared for scared for them. Just before four o'clock Wednesday afternoon, police were called to the parking lot of this extended stay along Coppermine Road. It was three people involved, two victims, and the suspect were involved in a physical altercation. At some point, they separated physically. The suspect pulled a firearm and shot at least three rounds. Uh, we don't know how many struck the, the victim who is deceased, and there was another victim who was also a teenager who was shot at and not struck. A witness told us it looked like at least some of the people involved got out of a car. Wednesday night, we saw detectives photographing this Honda and putting evidence markers around it before eventually towing it away. Police say the shooter was last seen running towards nearby Coates Elementary School. FCPS says it was put on a secure building status as police searched for the gunman. We do believe we know who the suspect is at this time, but we don't believe this to be a random act of any of any kind. We believe that the, all the parties are known to each other. She says what happened is unacceptable. We have a teenager who's dead and shouldn't be, um, and I can't imagine anything more devastating for, for that kid's family. So uh, we take this very, very seriously. As for the teen's family and friends, they're devastated. It happens every day, I know, but you never think that it's gonna happen to someone that you know, and it's just sucks. Tonight, police tell us the other young man who was shot at was not hurt, but is obviously shaken up. They're speaking with him. They also wanna hear from anyone who may have seen anything. If you did see something, police are asking you to give them a call. In Fairfax County, I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9.